And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Stefan Skyscraper! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alex Poetan Perez! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, man, I'm excited for this one as round one gets underway. Two of the best kickboxers in this division. Got to think we're going to be running back some of that live natural audio with how hard these gentlemen kick. I love when two high-level kickboxers get into the outcome because they come together close. What you have to understand is in kickboxing, a lot of it takes space within a very close range. The guys are almost chest to chest, throwing punches and kicks very close to each other. Imagine that though, with four ounce gloves. That's what we get tonight between these two high level strikers. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice block. Nice leg kick. Circling away towards the left. Snapping off that jab. Just out of range with that left hook. But Ada gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Oh, look at that. Just misses with a left hook there. Drew gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Alex Pereira gets back up. Visibly limping here. Ninety seconds to go in the opening round. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Back and forth we go. That kick blocked by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. And he comes through with a big knee. But it is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. He's got to be careful here. Right here, you got to empty the gas tank, John. You got to just go forward and let everything fly. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Two next. All right, heading back to the corner now, and all right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round, and he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very good cool fight. Oh, one offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over. Recently. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas 
to try to find that fit. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Shot blocked there by Padez. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's more of a I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. What a nasty flying knee to the head. He's giving him so many different things right now. Big right hand. Oh, there's the head kick. Looks like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Struve. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but if it is... Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Back to the feet now. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Under two minutes now to go. Front kick to the body by Pudding. Lands a nice straight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, I'm blind as a bat, but it looks like that's a cut. It is. Yeah, you can see a little blood starting to... Oh, my Now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stefan Skyscrapers Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.